Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared probability problem for you and here is a problem. If four babies are born on a given day, you have to answer four questions. What are the chances that two will be boys and two will be girls? Question B. What is the chance that all four will be girls? C. What combination of boys and girls among four babies is most likely? And uh, question D. What is the chance that at least one baby will be a girl? I'm going to solve this problem using Pascal's triangle. Take a look how we build uh, Pascal's triangle. We start with one uh, in the first row. Actually, we call this row zero row. But in the second row, we have two ones on the side. And the third row, we again start with the one. But next number is going to be a combination of these two numbers. So this is going to be two. And we end again with the one. Next row, we again start with the one. And then next number is going to be a combination of these two numbers. So going to be three. Next number again is going to be a combination of these numbers is going to be three. And then we end with a one. Next row, again, we start with a one. Next number is going to be a combination of these two numbers. So it's going to be a four. Next would be combination of these two numbers is going to be six. And next is going to be combination of these two numbers is going to be again four. And we end with one. This is basically binomial expansion. So uh, row zero is equal to uh, boys plus girls in a power of zero. And the second row would equal binomial expansion boys plus girls in a power of one. It is would be true if a couple would have just one child and uh, the child would be equally it's can be a boy or a girl. So ratio one to one. Uh, for example, if family would have two children, uh, so it's going to be boys plus girls, but two children. So uh, in a power of two, the ratio is, is going to be one to two to one. This is going to be, for example, take a look, two girls. It also can be a girl and a boy and a boy and a girl. And the last combination would be two boys. So you see this is a ratio of one to two to one. Probability that uh, out of two children in this family, there can be a boy and girl. Uh, it can be a first child and second child a boy or first child can be a boy and second child a girl. Uh, it's twice as likely as just two girls or two boys. Next row, this is going to be again a boy and a girl. But what if a family would have three children? So in a power of three, this is going to be a ratio how we can get uh, different combinations of sexes in this family. And last combination, as you see, this is going to be a boy plus a girl. So again, this is binomial expansion in a power of four. So this line represent four children. What is also interesting, so this is going to be a ratio between different combinations of uh, children that we may have in such a family. What is also interesting that, for example, if we'll combine numbers in each row, in the first row, we are going to have one. Here we are going to have two. Here four. Here eight. And here 16. This number represent number of combinations. For example, take a look. B may have uh, all four children to be girls. So four girls. 
but we also may have four combinations how we may have for example three girls and one boy and this number stand for the number of combinations of two girls and two boys this is going to be number of combinations of one girl and three boys in a family and this stands for the number of combinations of having four boys so as you see uh, probability of having all girls would be 1 out of 16 so 1 out of 16 would be probability of having four girls in a family so which question it is question a what is the chance that two will be boys and two will be girls and this is this variant here so this is six out of 16 six out of 16 this is answer for the question a and next question b what is are the chances that all four will be girls so this is answer to the question b and question c what combination of boys and girls among four babies is most likely and this is going to be this combination uh, as you see highest number of probability 6 out of 16 and question d uh, what is the chance that at least one baby will be a girl take a look this can be uh, four girls in this combination at least one is a girl this can be three girls and one boy again this uh, answer meet requirements of uh, question at least one girl and next combination also meet requirements and next combination is also meet requirements of at least one girl but the last combination this one doesn't meet requirements of this question because if we would have four boys we are not going to have at least one girl right so let's combine all these probabilities so one plus four five plus 6 11 plus 4 is going to be 15 out of 16 so this is going to be uh, an answer for the question d 15 out of 16 possible combinations and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day and see you in the next video goodbye